Hello everyone, today is a continuation verse of the day. This is part two and our final part of it. But Yesterday I was talking about how Yeshua was in a storm and he had absolute faith that everything was going to be fine because he is God. And he also, because remember he made himself a little lower than the angels. He shows us how to live here on earth. He was relying on the Holy Spirit to, to lead and guide him, but he's wanting us to, to see that because this storm was filling up this boat. The water was going in the boat and disciples were, were scared. They were tripping. And he says at the end of it, at the end of it, he says, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? So he's trying to show them, hey, don't be afraid of this. When I lead you into something, everything is okay. Everything is okay. So the change that I'm going through in the verse of the day that perfectly fits this is James 1, 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. I have just been... I've just received a, a different position in my job. I've been working the same position in my job for 11 years, but now I've been given the opportunity to take over some programs and things. And my first natural reaction is, this is awesome, I'm going to excel. But then my second one was, oh man, change, new people, it's scary. How, how much am I going to have to get into to understand the job? Fear want to sink in. But I have to remember that every good and perfect gift comes from God. And that he doesn't change. He does not change like shifting shadows. Even though I'm put in a new position, the God is the same. Even though I'm put in a new place, the mission is the same do everything to the glory of God, succeed, be successful. So why, for why, for the overarching mission? So that many may be saved and come to know Yeshua Jesus. That's still the goal, that it has not changed. So though I may be in different places, it still has not changed, but still it can be scary should you not read the word and understand God's purpose. Because what does it say? Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So let's read some scriptures that, that build up faith. If you're going through any changes, if you're going through a season, now you've been put into a new position. Now you're in a new place. Now you're in a new relationship. Maybe you have now, now that you're, uh, you're now a new father. Or now you're a new wife or new husband. These things are great things to know about. Psalm 18, 2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. We hold on to the Lord. He's our rock. He keeps us synced in. The world may change all around us. But we should be like Yeshua in that boat, just doing whatever he needs us to do. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understandings, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. We shouldn't be fearful. We should always be constantly communicating with the Lord. We pray and we talk to him throughout the day. Meditate on his word day and night. Ponder his word day and night. It's not like the Eastern religions of meditation. No, it means to ponder, not to open your mind up to everything. No, to close your mind and focus on his word. And guess what? He will give you the mission.
Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The Lord leads me. This position that I'm going into, it was put out there. Many people applied for it. But after many people applied for it, it was suggested by higher ups. Warren, what do you think of it? And I couldn't just jump on it and say, yo, I'll, I'll do it. No, I had to pray and ask the Lord and, and ask my wife what I was to do. If the Lord wants me to stay in a place, he'll let me stay in a place. And if the Lord wants me to move to another place, he'll let me move to another place. Not my will be done, but his will in heaven be done. And his word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. So I was able to apply for the position because I felt that maybe the Lord wanted me to apply for the position. Whether I got it or not, I wasn't worried. I was just listening to him day by day. And here I am, I'm about to go through a change. Still scary, but I have faith that things are going to be all right. In Romans 8.28, and we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good for those who are called according to his purpose. Even when you're put down, I'm, I'm in now going to a position where, where I'm being put in, in a place to shine. But even when you're put in a place that isn't a place to shine, all good things work together for good for those who love the Lord. If he puts you in a place, because I have been put into positions that are not highly wanted, the Lord can get some glory out of it. Do your best. Sweep the floor, clean the toilet, whatever thing that you're asked to do that's a servitude. See it as, as God's will and at a time and a season to do great things. As Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. I can do mundane tasks that I may not want to do at a time. And I can do higher tasks that may take a lot more mental energy from me. Because I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So yeah, this was a lot about change and just, just understanding, always trusting in the Lord. I'm excited about my new position. I get a whole new uniform and everything. I'm excited about it. And I can't wait to see what the Lord's going to do in this new time, this new season of my life. If you're going through something like that, I hope these scriptures came in hand. And keep reading, read more so that he can bring remembrance to you. So the Holy Spirit can bring remembrance to you the things that you just heard. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Bye, friends. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. And just thank you for your word, for letting it feed us and strengthen us through any trouble and any change that we may be going through. You're such a good God. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.